Hey, welcome back. I'm glad you're here. In this episode, we're talking about body timing. And for a simple term, body definition, uh, body timing is just basically how you put all your pieces together to make a swing. So either your body's working uh, all the parts in sync or it's not. So basically, we're going to maximize a swing or we're not going to maximize a swing. And Perry will often re, uh, refer to the area. This is one of the areas where where the body, uh, where bat uh, exit speed will go and hide, even though we feel like we've, we've barreled up a baseball pretty well. But all of that depends on how we've looked. Have we been slightly early to the ball? Uh, are we slightly late to the ball? Did we not get good leverage on a ball? Uh, did we not get lead arm locked up on a ball? And all of this states that we just won't be at our most efficient. It never stated that we can't hit it's just that we will not hit at our maximum efficiency. So if I'm going to go out and start working on this, I'm going to start at being 100% efficient with my swing. And then in the middle of that live pitch or such, I'm going to get cheated down. Okay, I'll come off of 100% and I'll come get cheated down to like 85. I'd be ecstatic if I was at that. Instead, what we've done, we've taught a lot of our kids to start out at 85 and now they get cheated down to 70. Okay, so it just doesn't make a whole lot of sense. I want to study for my test. I want to study to get 100, not an 85. Okay, if I end up with an 85 and I've done my best, I'm happy with that. Okay, so first things first, either the body's in sync or it's not in sync, all right? So as you begin your training, some things begin to become aware. So those are the areas that I refer to as intent. What am I trying to do with this swing? What do I want to feel? Awareness and feel. How am I moving? What did I feel? And uh, if you haven't, there's somewhere, I'll put up uh, right up above me here, go back and check out that video that we talk about, that episode where we're talking about intent, feel, and awareness. Okay, it's a pretty good, pretty good piece, and it is a, a pretty important piece as well. Okay, so that's the first aspect. When you begin, now you're starting to take ownership of your swing, and you're going to be able to feel how you're moving, all right? That is important more so than me telling you how to hold the bat, how to make the move, any of those items, okay? I, me as a coach, again, I want to stay outside of you. You as the hitter, now you can begin to internalize it so it makes sense to what you want to do. I'm just going to ask you to do something in, in uh, uh, a, a general uh, request. I'm going to say, hit that sign as hard as you can, okay? You go about doing it. I really don't care how. Okay, just get that, that aspect done. So that's the first of two points uh, when it comes to, to body timing. The other is a little bit more of a mental area of it or a philosophy. What, is, uh, what it is that you as the hitter are trying to accomplish. And again, if we're trying to react to everything, that's probably not going to be appropriate. This is where we go back in and start applying our right now into those areas, having a very distinct idea as to what it is I'm trying to accomplish. Okay, so um, as you progress out of this, I'll give you a quick, uh, a quick preview for where we would be headed as we start to get to level two. First things that we would uh, want to do, you get your base warm-ups done, uh, you're working on your characteristics that, that we now have, one of the things that we're going to do is, uh, is a, uh, uh, a, a basic test where the first things that we want to do is try to throw 10 pitches right down the middle so now we can start to find out just exactly where it is that you're maxing out on a live pitch. We can do that off the tee as well. Just set it in the same spot, 10 swings. What's the max that we're getting? Okay, what do the balls look like when we're getting there? Are you getting your body together in order to do that? Okay. So just recapping here today, this one is body timing. How it is you go about syncing up all the moving parts, making it your swing, getting feel, getting intent, getting an, uh, awareness. Does it feel right? Um, what is the, you know, what am I trying to do with each swing? I'm going to go out, I'm going to perform it. I'm going to create my own feedback. Now I want to come back in. What is it I'm trying to do when I see the live pitch? Is it the curveball I'm looking for? Is it a slider I'm looking for? Is it a fastball up and in I'm looking for? 
Uh, now I start to execute on those, and we start that off with a very basic test. I take 10 swings off of my tee to see what I'm maxing at. I take 10 live throws that are almost nearly perfect pitches, um, you know, same spots, uh, same speed. And I want to get the results and the feedback of those. Here's where we begin to measure, all right? So that's only going to leave us with one more uh, a skill that we want to start to master. That's the granddaddy of them all. That's pitch timing. And what does that mean? That starts to tie everything in together. That one's going to come up next. I hope to see you there. Take care. Coach Bill, Swing School.